It is being called the tip of the iceberg with 27 Connecticut residents testing positive for coronavirus since yesterday. There are now 68 cases, according to the governor, 48 in Fairfield County, seven in Hartford County, eight in New Haven and five in Litchfield. Nothing yet in Middlesex, Wyndham, Tolland or New London counties. The governor also announced help is on the way for those out of work during all of this. 10,000 applications for unemployment were filed yesterday alone. Right now we have a total of 40,000 on unemployment across the state. We'll have much more on this a little bit later on. Now, New Haven County would include the city of Waterbury now having their first case of coronavirus. And today, Mayor Neil O'Leary declared a state of emergency in the Brass City and delivered an urgent message for residents. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is live now in the Brass City with more on what they want people to know. Courtney. Hi, Dennis. We talked to the mayor earlier today. He says the biggest issue facing Waterbury is trying to get residents to understand that this is real. Uh, he also says it's a huge health issue, and we found some people who weren't heeding that warning today. A wedding celebration inside Waterbury City Hall, while a wonderful time in a couple's life, right now might not be that perfect time. Well, I mean, we got engaged last year, so we set a date for the 17th of March, and it happens to be this pandemic, so we just went ahead and did it. The couple says it's their seventh anniversary today, but with coronavirus fears and positive tests increasing daily, the president and local leaders are urging people to take this global pandemic seriously. You can see you just saw people downstairs in our lobby, 50 of them uh, celebrating a wedding celebration and none of them were practicing the social uh, distance uh, related issues. That distance is at least six feet away from another person. An important reminder as Waterbury had their first positive test yesterday. A woman in her late 20s tested positive for coronavirus. She returned from northern Italy with her family who also live in Waterbury a few days ago. Four of them went on the trip. All of them are in home quarantine. The other three family members are now being tested. It's here. It's real. And if you don't practice the social distancing, which we were told is the most important thing, that you're, you're going to get sick. The mayor has canceled multiple events in the city, including one today to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. While city halls are public buildings in Waterbury, they are ramping up efforts. We might be a, we're probably going to do a little bit more self-policing of our public buildings, including this is city hall, obviously. Mm -hmm. As you know, a lot of cities have closed city hall. Uh, we might ramp up to that in the very near future. And the city is looking for volunteers with experience in health care to help with their emergency operations center. Also pass out meals uh, for schools and meals on wheels. Now, if you need assistance or are interested in that, just call 311. That's 311 in the city of Waterbury. Uh, they say they've already fielded more than 150 calls in the past 24 hours. We're live at the mobile newsroom tonight. Courtney's other channel three eyewitness news.